Hey Clashers, the best wave master deck and how to play it? No problem. Let's dive into some matches. But before, I'm using a level 5 wave master overall. And I really recommend to you guys, do not upgrade your heroes any higher than level 5 if you want to climb. This has a really easy reason. I will tell you about that more in tomorrow's video. But hey, we want to really concentrate on how to play this deck. And I think... We're just going to jump into a couple of duels. Ooh, we have Phoenix. Okay, so this is going to be uh, Wave Master versus Wave Master. So let's see how we're doing. The first thing is actually in the first round. If you not face like a really heavy burst hero, for example, for example, the Roy Champ, you always want to have your Wave Master in front because this means he's really quickly getting his his super off, which is really clutch. So let's see. With the super, he should yeah, he should be able to get in the back. That's awesome. And then his his wave master should follow. This means my dark goblin is all the way untouched. And with this, we're going to probably just easily win this first round. So this is a really um, clutch move. If you're like new to the wave master, really try to make sure that you're having your wave master in front. The first minion which is getting attacked. The only downside is like if he's having like if the opponent is rushing a a two star like dissipate mini packer things like that, but. Those are really uncommon. So, now what should we do next? Uh, I feel like we should go for the Fisherman over there. Go for that. And the Ice Wizard as well. Let's let's do it like this, maybe. Hmm. If he's having the Wave Master again into the back, okay, that could be problematic. But we're, we're getting his, his Dark Goblin, right? If something would attack it, that would be kind of nice. Okay, the stun is not working. That's not good looking for us. Or is it? Or is it? Wait! <laughs> my my Dark Goblin dodged! My Dark Goblin actually dodged this. Can, can we get to this stun forest? We're getting this stun forest! Let's go! This is a quick 2-0 for us. Let's see if we can push this further. Let's see if we can push this further. Mm. Okay, Valkyrie would be nice. But I guess just to catch his Valkyrie. Now the thing is, what are we going for? Something... Obviously go for like... What should we go for? The stun? I would go for the attack bonus. I would just go for the attack speed. Let's do something like this. Let's see if that's going to work. Let's see if that's going to work. So, what do we have? Okay. We're getting his fisherman into the back. Is that a good or a bad thing? That's the question. Now my wife master? No. My wife master is too quickly down. Ah, this uh, this ice wizard. The ice wizard from him was really clutch. That was, that was really clutch on that side. Okay, he's getting that round. So, let's see. We need to make sure that we're... Having the wave master not getting bursted down right away. So that's kind of important. So what can we do on this one? I think what we should go for is... The splat... Oh, I could go... He's having the wave master, uh, the, the fisherman as well. We go for the KO freeze. And we're going for the plus shape. Like this. Like this. Oh no. Oh no. If he's having the Valkyrie in my back, this... Okay, he's... Well, actually... This was not too bad, isn't it? Because now it's frozen, my wave master should go for the Dark Goblin. Come on, burst down the Dark Goblin, that would be great. No, he's having the two-star Dark Goblin. Now it depends on how many stuns he's getting. That was the first stun, that was the se- That was- that is so stupid. But actually, was that was good for me. Wait a second, that was good for me that he stunned. Now my Dark Goblin is going ham. No! Wait, come on, come on, wave master. Stun him. There you go, 3 to 1, that is a nice victory, and that's how this deck works. This time versus a Royal Champion, I told you already that this is this can be a really heavy burst. So, let's see what we do, I think the first star is not really good, but still we're going to buy it, we can read, like, okay, first, awesome. But again, we're going to go for the classic setup, like this setup is normally really, really good. If he's not having a mini pack in front of him, that's not what he's having, okay, that's awesome. Depending on where is my Wave Master going, I hope for the Royal Champion, that would be awesome. Yes, nice. We're getting the stun on the, onto the Royal Champion. And the Dark Goblin is just such an insane um, Royal Champion counter already in its own. Take a look at that. Without any upgrades, the Dark Goblin is taking over. But, like, it's just crazy. Okay, the next round. What should you go for in the second round? In the second round, if possible, go for Ice Wizard. And go for the Fisherman. Let's see if we can get that. Perfect, that's awesome. We do not want to go for an upgrade next for the wiz uh, Ice Wizard, so we're going to do like this. Let's see if that's going to work. Let's see if that's going to work. Let's see if he's already having too much damage in front, so we have to have to get the Wave Master. There we go, there we go, getting the hook onto his 
Come on, Wave Master, the Royal Gem was already dead, nothing to charge for, but it shouldn't be any problem. Combination of Ice Boosted and Dark Goblin shredding through anything, and this is just insane. It's really, really strong combination, and so far, it's looking awesome for us. So now, what should we do? One thing, which is really strong, and I pro should probably not tell you this already, but it's like a really insane trick. So what you should go for is... If you have the Shelly bouncing pack in, in the back, in the middle row, go for the bigger range and just shoot it. There's no counter to this. We're going to hit the Roy Champion guaranteed with the stun. Because take a look at the position. There's nothing except the first row where he can hide from. And this is so stupid broken when you have this in the middle row. Um, because like I said, there's nothing he can like, there's no chance how he could dodge that. You can see if, if it's actually dying, is it even dying? Okay, now finally, there you can see it, explosion, it makes boom, and the Royal Champion is gone. Yeah, quick 2-0 for us already, so, oh, 3-0 already, next match. <laughs> okay, there we have it, uh, a monk, that's the worst match matchup for you, okay. So what are we going for, again, I would, I want to try, do we have, we have the star, let's go. We do not want to have the Valkyrie next, so we're going to go for this one. If he's having the Monk onto the energy field, he is going to win that round either way because he's going to one-shot. Uh, that's unfortunate. Wait a second, the Valkyrie is going to tank for me, so maybe, maybe with a lot of luck... No, no, no chance, no chance. The first round against the Monk, it's just nearly impossible. It's just nearly impossible to win that round. Um, you need to be really, really lucky or you need to face a really low-level Monk, something like that. But otherwise, it's a really hard thing. So, now what should we do next? In this matchup, you try to get as many mini onto the field as possible. So we're going to go for the giant skeleton next. Like this. And went for the ice wizard. Both into the corner. Let's hope that he's not grabbing any of those, but let's see. Is he going to pull off the fisherman already in the second round? No. Wait a second. He did not play anything. Is he trying to play with me? Buddy, that would be... That would be really ballsy. I mean, I'm not that bad, okay? You still have the better matchup, but come on, you should concentrate. Let's see if he's playing in the next round. At least, that's that's a nice round. I think we would have won... It's hard to say, to be honest, but I think we had a good-looking board. So, now let's concentrate. Let's do not, do not get fooled by him. The next thing which is really important is, in this matchup, as I said, like, you really want to try to upgrade this Dark Goblin or the Giant G Skeleton. Both is possible. We're going to go for the stun, the third star ability, and we're trying to go for the Fisherman. Let's see if he's going for the back. Let's see if he's having something placed here for us. Come on. Okay. Wait a second. That's actually bad. Wait. No, that's that's fine. We're getting the Dark Goblin out of the way. Getting the Fisherman out of the way. That's actually awesome for us, right? That's super awesome for us. Oh my goodness. That that Fisherman hook was incredible. And this is a quick 2-1 to one lead for us. That's awesome. Okay. You can see the Fisherman right now is probably one of, one of the strongest mini as well. But at least... One of the most explosive minis. He alone already can game change anything. So let's see what we can do. Again, Dark Goblin, I like that. And I think... Bigger explosion or more damage? I would go with more damage, to be honest. And this time, though, we're going to go for this side. Let's see if we have not switched our Dark Goblin or Ice Wizard yet whatsoever. And he is actually luring my Valkyrie. That's interesting. But we're not hitting that so important Dark Goblin. So our Dark Goblin has to overcome now the other Dark Goblin. Can he do it? Can he do it? No way! Oh no, he's getting the luckier stun. What is that? It's a small chance. He's like hitting every single, every second attack is stun. What, what, what is that? Like, I really hate this random, this random thing where it's like... Oh, what, whatever. Okay, freeze right there. <laughs> we should concentrate. Plus shape and freeze. That were the upgrades I was going for. So let's see, something like this should be awesome. I'm really going to set up for this side. I'm going to replace everything over there. Let's see if it helped. Let's see if it helped. Or if we got pretty... Oh, okay. We have the three-star Dark Goblin right, na right in front of our face. But wait a second. He actually one-shot... Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we actually win this? The Valkyrie is kind of scary. <laughs> the Valkyrie is really scary. Come on. Take down the Valkyrie. And with the Ice Wizard, we're getting things done. Let's go. You can see the Fisherman right now is the bread and butter in any deck. It's kind of crazy. But overall, this is how you play this deck. This is how you play the different matchups. It's one of the strongest, of the strongest deck right now for any melee hero, to be honest. You can use this with Shield Maiden. You can use this with Monk. You can use that with Barbarian King. You can use that with all of those different heroes. 
Um, so feel free to use that. And well, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.